thanks for joining us guys we're back in the attic today and we are going to start framing and finishing off some of the insulation and poly sheeting excited to show some of this to you today and we're gonna get moving on this and finish out this space It's been a few weeks since we shared about our attic, so I figured I'd bring you guys a brief update today. Nothing too big, no major milestones met. I mean, I guess we did get a few walls installed, but plumber and HVAC and electrical will be going in in the next few weeks. And so we prepped the space for that. And we're just gonna walk around and show you a little bit. I tried to capture quite a bit of us building out the framing, but with such a small space and honestly, me focused on the actual work, it was hard to record and shoot a lot of that, but we've got some footage to show you. And I've actually got a quick little video here to show you how we built these knee walls and why we built them the way we built them. A lot of the spacing and stuff was contingent on where we're gonna put access panels for storage and doors for closets and cabinets and that sort of stuff. So it was really fun to get up in the space and figure all of this out. And we're excited to keep rolling after the subcontractors get in and add the electrical and the plumbing. So here's one of many of our knee walls that has been installed. Code requirements in the area are that you have to have four foot knee walls on either side of the room. And the concept here is because most of the space should have headroom above you so that you can stand. So four feet is where they mark that as the requirement. Also makes the most sense since a sheet of drywall is four feet wide. A little unique when you're building a wall, you can't just build it and put it up like you can a square wall because the top plate is going to be angled against your cathedral ceiling. In order to compensate for that and still get a flat edge across the front here, you need to cut a 45 degree or the degree angle opposite of your roof line. In this case, ours is a 45 degree angle out of 90. That's 45 degrees. So uh, 45 degree angle on your top plate, mount that first based on the height you want your knee wall to be. And then you can measure these down where you want with string or chalk line. We used a four foot level in measuring your studs. Mount your bottom plate, mount the studs in the middle with toenailed nails going into them. Uh, we also attached it to the wall here so you can see this wall, this knee wall hits the wall in a stud cavity. And so we had to add blocking two by fours to be able to mount this to. And that's how you build an E-wall. This is the four foot level. Line it up and nail away. So what's next? We have a few items on order, like the access panel for the knee wall storage, the shower base, so we can get the plumbing drains installed in the right places. We're gonna start picking out some other finishings for the bathroom and the bedrooms. All of the drywall arrives this Friday, that, and so we will be carrying 84 sheets of drywall up into this attic space through our entire house. Uh, that should be an interesting endeavor. Al, I think the drywall just came. Can you, can you grab that and just carry it up to the attic for me? Thanks. And we're going to continue to build out some of the minor framing details we have left and build out the closets and wait on a couple of the subcontractors to finish up their work. So thanks for tuning in. Like I said, real brief update, but we've got some work 
done and a lot more to come. Keep watching for future updates and other cool review videos and other items I've got in store for this channel. If you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. It means a lot and subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications for more. And we'll see you in the next one. Like this video if you think I should do every single video wearing safety glasses.